প্রিয় দর্শক আপনাদের স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি ওয়ালটন ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন অনুষ্ঠান থেকে আমি মোহাম্মদ নুর ইয়াজিস আজকে আমাদের সাথে অতিথি হিসাবে আমরা যাকে পেয়েছি তিনি হচ্ছেন মালদ্বীপের হাই কমিশনার মিস্টার আহমেদ সারির হাই হাও ইউ স্যার নাইস টু হ্যাভ ইউ ইন আওয়ার শো ওকে থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ হাউ ডু ইউ ফিল ইন বাংলাদেশ ওয়েল থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফার্স্ট অফ অল ফর গিভ মি দিস অপরচুনিটি টু সে আ ফিউ ওয়ার্ডস অ্যাবাউট মালদ্বীপস and also with its relations with uh, Bangladesh. Um, I'm very uh, proud to be uh, serving uh, in uh, Bangladesh, uh, serving the Maldives' uh, interests, uh, and also to, uh, as an opportunity to enhance relations between a very friendly country, uh, a country with which we have very close and cordial relations with. Uh, so that is a great honor for me. Um, Uh, let me also uh, use this opportunity in conveying uh, very warm wishes and uh, greetings uh, on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of independence, which we have just recently marked. Uh, that's great. Nice to have you in our show and nice to have you in Bangladesh same time. What I is the most thing you like in Bangladesh? If I, I feel you. very homely here. You know, very homely. Uh, Bangladeshi uh, people are very, very friendly. And uh, I don't feel at all uh, as uh, in a foreign country in that sense, um, except that uh, I don't uh, speak uh, Bangla, Bangla uh, which I'm slowly, you know, picking up a few words. You know. uh-huh. That's good. <laughs> Do you know any word like in Bangla? Well, uh, uh, very few uh, words. I'm just speaking just a basic greetings, uh, you, know, uh, you know, and the dhanyabha, uh, uh, thank you, and this kind of, you know, few words I'm just slowly picking up and... Uh, also say a few phrases to you know some people these things are you living here with your family i'm i'm with my family and the family is also very well settled here that's nice uh, to know and the children are going to school here school here oh good good and let me ask you something uh, please give us a brief description of the maldives history because so many people in bangladesh even though we are a religious country we don't have that much idea or some of them we knows would you like to please uh, how you define maldives Well, Maldives' uh, history, uh, historical evidence goes to say that the Maldives, um, uh, we have a recorded history of, uh, uh, which goes back to 2,500 years. Um, and then uh, the country has been a very homogeneous society, one culture, one religion, and one language throughout the, its history. And throughout its history, it has been a, a fairly independent uh, a country, except for a very uh, short spell during the 16th century. Uh, uh, and uh, we were a, a British protectorate during 19, uh, from 1887 until 1965 when we attained uh, full independence. Maldives was, uh, throughout its history, uh, being a sultanate, uh, running its own uh, internal administration, uh, whereas during the British protectorate, uh, our foreign affairs and defense were looked after by British. Um, and then uh, we decided to become a republic in 1968. Mm-hmm. So since 1968, we have been a republic. And in uh, 2008, we had a major transformation in the country with a, a new constitution, uh, ah, which uh, uh, enshrined into uh, a multi-party democratic system. General education, or you also invest on the medical and other field engineering? or higher education? Uh, up until uh, this year, we didn't have mm-hmm. a university. I see. The first national university was uh, uh, inaugurated um, in January this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, up to that uh, time, up to this time, uh, we have uh, had uh, the formal schooling uh, up to all levels and A levels. I see. And thereby, uh, students will be going abroad to do their I further see. studies. I myself has done my studies uh, overseas. I see. Uh, further studies, I mean. Um, If you don't mind, you went to school in which I, country? I was, I was in Australia. I did Australia. my uh, ah. undergraduate and master's in Australia. I see. I see. And these are uh, uh, arrangements that the government has uh, uh, made with uh, various donor countries, uh, providing scholarships to uh, the Maldives, under which uh, the, scheme, uh, the scholarship schemes the government Uh, would provide uh, students uh, who attain uh, you know, certain passes to get qualified to go on scholarships. And uh, so therefore, many students have been going uh, all over the world, um, including the uh, neighborhood, including Australia, UK, or other uh, right, countries, right, right. 
uh, these are either Maldivian government sponsored or uh, donor country sponsored uh, ah, uh, scholarships, plus many private students. We have to take a short break here, Priya Darshak. I'm not sure to take a break here, Priya Darshak. I'm not sure to take Priya Darshak, uh, welcome back after the break. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, now we want to discuss something very important. Maldives and Bangladesh, we don't have that much trade relation. Uh, actually, we can say its level is kind of zero. So how we can improve this trade relation between Maldives and Bangladesh? Yes, there is a great scope. You know, uh, uh, there is uh, quite a lot of uh, prospects for um, cooperation in the trade aspects. Uh, the moment I uh, came here as the commissioner, one of my uh, prime uh, you know, uh, importance that I have attached is to uh, link the two countries, uh, uh, the business communities of the two countries, because I see so many potentials that exist in Bangladesh which could be taken advantage by the Maldivian uh, uh, businessmen. Uh, I see so much of uh, very high quality products here yeah. going all over the world. You know, the, uh, you have so much of uh, garments very high quality to going to Europe and other places. Uh, you have a uh, very uh, vibrant other industries like pharmaceuticals which you, Maldivian uh, traders can also take advantage of. Uh, similarly, there are a lot of uh, investment opportunities uh, in the Maldives for Bangladeshi you know, uh, uh -huh. uh, businessmen who right. could take advantage of uh, in, the, in the tourism uh, sector, right. uh, in the other, uh, you know, even service industries, uh, which uh, I think uh, what has happened over the past has, there has not been an introduction of each other, you know, right. uh, the Maldivian It's like you can say huge gap. Very big gap. Right. Uh, the, uh, the Maldivian mission uh, was opened here only two years uh, now back. Uh, and... Uh, now uh, is an opportunity for me to introduce right. Maldives to Bangladesh. Similarly, uh, Bangladeshi you know, uh, you know, businessmen uh, could explore what is available in the Maldives. Right, exactly. So yes. this is something I am... Since we are uh, talking about the business uh, situation between Maldives and Bangladesh, uh, since last year, Maldives improved themselves, LDC to MIC country. Uh, which beginning is, of this year. Right, beginning of this year, which is a huge achievement during this world recession time. So how you achieve it? Uh, do you, your GDP is growing like uh, uh, 6 to 8 percent. Your per capita income is uh, $4,000, which is really good. And would you like to share something about that, please? We are very proud with the uh, achievement that uh, the country has made. Uh, and... Um, uh, graduating from uh, LDC status uh, to uh, an MIC uh, f starting from uh, 1st of January this year. But it also it comes with a lot of challenges, you know, because right. uh, uh, Maldives is a country uh, with a very low uh, resource base. Um, and the economic base is very, uh, you know, is basically concentrated on uh, tourism mm -hmm. and fisheries. Right. And these are two uh, industries, as you would know, uh, which has... Uh, very much external links, you know. So anything that goes uh, outside would affect the Maldives economy. I see. Uh, and uh, any uh, any uh, uh, you know uh, a conflict uh, in the region or elsewhere in the world, or if there is any uh, uh, you know price uh, ranges in the in the world commodities, uh, yeah. uh, that would also affect uh, uh, the uh, Maldives industries, especially with regard to fisheries. You know, fisheries there. Yeah. There were ups and downs whenever mm -hmm. there is, uh, you know, the fish prices overseas goes, uh, you know, down. Then the uh, uh, tourism. Tourism is again uh, very uh, much sensitive mm -hmm. to what's going on. Um, uh, during even the Gulf War, we had some uh, difficulties uh, in the tourism industry. Uh, in the recent past, uh, we had had uh, major. Uh, uh, you know, decline in uh, the industries, especially due to, due to the tsunami that hit mm -hmm. uh, the Maldives in 2004, uh, heavily, you know, right. actually right. the whole, right. we suffered uh, 60 percent, 60, over 62 percent of the GDP suffered greatly ah, as a result of the uh, uh, tsunami. So do you uh, overcome? Uh, and, uh, and the uh, fisheries industry still hasn't really uh, overcome yet. Uh, overcome with that tsunami, which are slowly, you know, improving. But the tourism industry was much more, you know, uh, versatile, I would say. They were able to 
regain uh, to the pre-tsunami levels even within one year's time. That's uh, nice. And uh, today we are, uh, in, the, in the tourism industry, we are doing uh, pretty uh, well, I would say, because last year uh, we touched the mark of 900,000 you know, arrivals to the country. Wow, that's nice. Uh, yeah. We want to ask you one thing um, about the world peace is one of the huge issues. So as a person, as a human being, what is your view? How we can have a better place? I think the important thing uh, uh, for peace is respect for the others. You know? right. uh, if, if everyone takes uh, you know, a position of respecting each other, mm -hmm. that is the only way forward uh, in uh, coming to terms with either it is within the family or either it is within the community or in the, in the, in the world. You know, uh, the most important thing is to respect for uh, each and every person's value, uh, the, uh, the other person's, you know, customs and, you know, uh, 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 historical, you know, heritage and uh, uh, the value system. I mean, we have to be, you know, uh, looking at uh, uh, what every, every single person is, uh, has a, you know, difference of opinion. Uh, uh, but at the same time, we should be able to respect the other, other person's exactly. point of view. At the same time, you know, uh, we should give space for the other. I mean, that is the only uh, solution in my uh, mind uh, for that's, peace in the world. That's really nice to know, and I hope everyone will understand what exactly you mean. Priya Darshak, I'm not sure to take the for you. Our Priya Darshak, I'm not sure to take the beauty for our Priya Darshak, Walton Diplomatic Zone. We have uh, most of the people in Muslim, we have one Bangla culture and same time, we have Islamic culture. It's a fusion between Islam and Bangla culture. So do you have the same thing or it's like a straight Muslim culture? It follows. We attach a very high importance to Islam. Uh, Islam was introduced into the Maldives and, uh, way back in 1153. Uh -huh. uh, before that, Maldives was a Buddhist country. Buddhist? Uh, Buddhist. Okay. You know, b before 1153. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, uh, ever since then, uh, we have attached uh, high importance in uh, promoting the values of Islam. I see. Uh, and uh, the governments of uh, uh, successive times have also promoted uh, Islam. And the people themselves has uh, uh, given an important uh, you know, aspect right. to the uh, values and the oh, teachings of Islam. Right, right. Uh, but then the, uh, the modern Islamic uh, you know, teaching, uh, from, of course, from the very beginning, we would be given uh, uh, the even in our education system, we, uh, even before we had our formal schooling. In the remote Indian Ocean lies a paradise that is called Maldives Islands. These are islands that are bathed in sunshine and washed with pristine blue waters. It's a destination beyond all destinations. This is the only country where temperature controlled swimming pool means endless beautiful ocean that is studded with glorious islands. Where taxi ride does not mean smoke-polluted, traffic-jammed roads. It means water planes, where spa and health clubs are found out in the open, amongst the bounties of nature, with all the modern facilities. Where food is just another word for exotic gourmet. Where concepts of city centers are non-existent. Where hotels and resorts are the dreams that you have always dreamed but never seen. service is derogatory. Traditional hospitality is all that they understand. 
such is this dream country with its capital at Mali. With a peaceful community that has an age-old tradition of its own. that has a character and is connected internationally. Such is Maldives, where nature is at your beck and call, where the sea caresses the beautiful sands, where clouds play hide-and-seek with the blue skies, where man can touch, feel and see nature. Maldives, the sunny side of life. We are almost at the end of the show. Do you have any closing thought for our people? This is your camera. You can... Well, uh, thank you once again for this opportunity. And uh, I have great uh, uh, hope uh, for our relations between okay. uh, Maldives and Bangladesh, which al already it is very cordial and uh, you know, fraternal, which we have uh, been... Uh, the peoples of Maldives and Bangladesh uh, has a very good understanding of each other. Uh, there is a large uh, number of Mal Bangladeshis serving in the Maldives, which we uh, highly uh, value. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm sure in, in future there is a, a great hope for further uh, cooperation, and uh, I'm glad to be serving uh, to uh, further these uh, you know, targets. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being our show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Priyo Darshak, Amra Onushthaner Agdom Shesh Pardjai Choleyashchi. Aachkir Mato Walton Diplomatic Zone Onushthan Thheke. Bidai Nitsi Ami Mohamed Nuri Aziz. Dekha Hobe Agami Shabtai. Tato Khun Pardjanto Bhalo Thakun, Shushto Thakun. Thank you.